see how it feels, uh, you know, to really hit it hard for, for a week. I've obviously been working out before that, but to really hit it hard for a week and, and to see if the drive and, and the passion is still there. And, and then I'll, you know, see where we're at. And, and so again, this is why this is not a decision here. The decision I think was made in my mind, whether or not I was able to admit at that point, uh, really on that Tuesday, I wanted to play. Um, and then it was, uh, you know, how is my body uh, feeling? Is it going to be able to hold up? So at this point, as I sit here, you know, I think since Friday, uh, I made it clear that my intention was to play and my intention was to play for the New York Jets. Okay. Um, In a stunning move that rocked the NFL world, the New York Jets have officially traded for Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers. The Jets sent the Packers that a package that includes the 2013 13th overall pick, a 42nd overall pick, and a 6th round pick in the 2023 draft, as well as a 2nd round pick in 2024 that could become a 1st round pick if Rodgers plays 65% of the Jets' offensive snaps next season. In exchange, the Jets will receive the number 15th overall pick and the 170th pick of this year's draft, in addition addition to adding Rodgers. On March 15th, quarterback Aaron Rodgers appeared on the Pat McAfee show and confirmed that he intended to play for the New York Jets in the upcoming season. The announcement came after weeks of speculation about where Rodgers, who had played for the Green Bay Packers for 18 seasons, would end up next, either retirement, back with the Packers, or with a new team, such as the Jets. The New York Jets have struggled in recent years, failing to make the playoffs since 2010. However, there may be a solution to their woes in the form of trading for quarterback Aaron Rodgers, the reigning MB, or the, the 2021 MVP, which altogether he's won four. Rodgers, who spent his entire career with the Packers, had recently expressed his displeasure with the organization and even hinted at a desire to be traded. Acquiring Rodgers is a game changer for the Jets. He is one of the best quarterbacks in the league and his presence would immediately elevate the team's offense. The Jets already had some talented pieces in place, such as a top 10 defense, wide receivers Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard, running back Brees Hall, and others. With the addition of Aaron Rodgers to the mix, the Jets' offense becomes even more dangerous. The Jets' defense is young, but had a great year last season and was ranked as the sixth best defense in the league. They have a lot of young players on the defensive side ball that includes the reigning defensive rookie of the year, Sauce Gardner, defensive tackle Quinnen Williams, and C.J. Mosley, among others. The Jets will instantly become one of the top contenders in the AFC, with the Kansas City Chiefs, the Buffalo Bills, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Bolt, and the Baltimore Ravens leading the way in the conference. The addition of Rodgers will give the Jets a fighting chance to compete with all those teams. With a talented roster and plenty of talented players on the roster, the Jets could become a legitimate contender in the NFL with Rodgers leading the way. The decision came after months of speculation about the future of relationship between Rodgers and the Packers. While both parties had expressed there, there was no animosity between the two, tensions had been building between Rodgers and the Packers front office for a few years. In particular, Rodgers had been critical of the team's management and their decision making and had expressed frustration with the organization. While the Packers wanted to go from the Rodgers era to the Love era, the Packers had a, uh, the Packers had until June to pick up Jordan Love's fifth year playing option, which will they will owe him $20.5 million for the 2023 season. Love had been the league since 2020, but has been a backup to Rodgers. After the season ended, however, it became clear that Rodgers and the Packers were headed into a different direction. According to sources close to the situations, both parties wanted to part ways and part ways and begin a new chapter in their respective careers. For Rodgers, the decision to leave the Packers was a difficult one. He had spent nearly two decades with the team and had established himself as one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. However, he felt it was time to move on and seek a new challenge. For the Packers, the decision to let go of Rodgers was also a tough one. He had been a face of the franchise for nearly two decades and led the team to numerous playoff appearances and a Super Bowl victory in 2011. 
However, they felt it was time to turn the page and begin building for the future. Ultimately, the decision to part ways was the right one for both parties. Rodgers will have a new opportunity to, stay, to start a new chapter in his career with the New York Jets, while the Packers will have the chance to build a new team around their next quarterback, such as Jordan Love, and continue their tradition of success. While it would be strange to see Rodgers playing for another team and wearing a different number than the Packers, fans on both sides will undoubtedly be continue to admire and respect the talents of one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. For the Packers, this trade marks the end of an era. Rodgers had been with the team for 18 seasons, leading them to a Super Bowl victory and multiple deep playoff runs. While the Packers would undoubtedly miss his leadership and playmaking ability, they did receive a significant return in the trade. The 13th overall pick in this year's draft, which ended up being Iowa defensive end Lucas Van Ness, gives them another opportunity to add young talent to their roster and continue building around Jordan Love. While it remains to be seen how Rodgers will perform in New York, there is no doubt that he gives the Jets a much needed upgrade at the quarterback position. At the same time, the Packers have received a significant return for their star quarterback and will have a chance to continue building towards a bright future. The trade between the Jets and the Packers, which saw quarterback Aaron Rodgers move the Jets, almost did not happen due to a stalemate, sta uh, stalemate between the two teams. According to sources close to this negotiate, according to the, uh, to the situation, both teams were initially unwilling to budge on the terms of the deal, leading to a standoff that threatened the, de the derail of the entire trade. The Jets had reportedly offered the Packers their 2023 13th overall pick, a 42nd overall pick, and two late first round picks in 23 and 24, along with the option that the second round pick in 2024 could become a first round pick if Rodgers played a significant percentage of the Jets' offensive snaps in 2023. In return, the Packers would send Rodgers a 2023 fifth round pick to the Jets. However, the Packers were said to be holding out for a better deal, insisting on at least one additional high draft pick as part of the package. The Jets, meanwhile, were reluctant to part ways with any more assets, feeling that the initial offer was already generous. Despite the standoff, the two sides eventually agreed on the trade. While the deal may have taken longer than expected to come together, both teams ultimately got what they wanted. The Jets secure one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history, while the Packers will be able to obtain additional draft picks to help rebuild their roster. As for Rodgers, he will now have the opportunity to lead the Jets to a Super Bowl and continue building on his legacy as one of the greatest QBs of all time. Aaron Rodgers did announce after the trade that he will be switching to a new number for the upcoming season. Rather than donning the familiar number 12, Rodgers has opted to wear number 8, the same number he wore during his college career. Even though Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Namath, who wore number 12, retired by the Jets, offered to allow Rodgers to wear it. However, he declined and will go back to his number 8 that he wore during his Cal days. During his time at Cal, Rodgers established himself as one of the best quarterbacks in college football at the time. He led the Golden Bears to a 10-2 record in 2004 and was named the team's MVP. In conclusion, the Jets that sent Aaron Rodgers, or in conclusion, the trade that sent Aaron Rodgers to the Jets is a major move that will have a significant implications for both teams. While it remains to be seen how Rodgers will perform in New York, there is no doubt that he gives the Jets a much-needed upgrade at the quarterback position. At the same time, the Packers have, re have received a significant return for their star quarterback and will have a chance to continue building towards a bright future. Only time will tell whether this trade was a win for both sides, but it's sure to be one of the most talked-about moves of the NFL offseason.